Hi Ethan, it's Siti Bibi. Um, I'm sure by now you would have heard um, all about Daddy or Dada. Um, he was an amazing man. He loved you so much. He loved all of us. He was family oriented. He obviously loved the magic, which I'm sure you're a magic fan by now. Um, but there's no words to describe who and what your dad meant to us and who he was. Ethan, by now you probably know that me and Dre have taken you to countless magic games. Uh, you come in to Disney with your cousins. We're gonna show you the world that your dad would have wanted. Well, Ethan, what can I say about your dad? He loved you so much. The day, the night you were born, he was so proud of you. He was so proud to finally be a dad. Ethan, nephew, how are you? It's your deal, Dre. You know, your dad was amazing. Your dad was my little brother. He was my youngest brother. And he never left me alone. I want you to know that every time I told you, Ethan, don't do that. Ethan, stop. Ethan, listen to your mother. Ethan, respect people. Ethan, learn to love people. That's all because all those exact same things is what your father would have wanted. The time that I watched him be a dad with you was just like it came natural to him. He loved you so much and the minute that he would see you, he would say, hey buddy, it's Dada. And that's just the type of bond that you guys would have had. And he loved the magic. Um, your dad used to send me text messages um, every day because I work for the magic and I probably still will be when you see this. <laughs> I'll be a little bit older, but um, I wanted you to know too that uh, I intend to give you a cell phone pretty early to make sure that you can text me um, and we can talk basketball. We can talk about whatever you want because you know that's what that's what your dad and I used to do. He loved the Orlando Magic, which I'm sure you'll hear from your uncles. Um, and his laugh, his joyful spirit it was so contagious. We used to play basketball and I would beat your dad like 10 times in a row. And he'd be so mad he'd want to play again. And, uh, and he'd play me and play me until he finally went. And uh, I used to let him win. Um, just so that he would leave me alone. But um, now that you're older, um, I want you to know. I want you to bother me the way your dad um, used to. Because your dad was special. Your, your dad had such an amazing um, personality. He had a smile that lit up the room. He, we had nicknames for each other. He called me Cougar and I called him Yelito. I love you. You're, you're my nene. And I just want you to know, Ethan, that your father loved you. And I'm gonna, everything I've done until now is because it's what your father would have wanted. So know that you were loved. Um, your dad was obsessed with you. Um, he, he always talked about you. His number one thing, if anything ever went wrong, was he was gonna grab you and hold you because you were like his, his rock. He was faithful, he was loving, he was kind, he was a man of God. He was everything that you're gonna be because that's, we're gonna make sure that you know who he is from whenever you can remember him till 
As long as we live, you're gonna know who daddy is. He loved you and your mom so much and he treated Kelly like a queen. Um, he was a family man. He loved being his brothers, his aunts, his parents, your grandparents. I want you to know that even though you may not understand it now, your father loved you more than you could ever imagine. And the love that I have for you is the same love that your father had for you. In fact, it's even bigger. So please know that I know daddy's not here right now, but um, just know that he loved you so much. And uh, he always wanted the best for you. And me and your deal, Jay, we're making sure that you can take care of. So don't worry, we're gonna spoil you. We'll help you with whatever you need, man. I'll give you a magic ticket. I'll give you floor seats, okay? Something I never gave your dad. Um, I'll take you to sporting events. I'll take you when you um, first have a girlfriend that your mom doesn't wanna let you do anything. Just, just come to good old Uncle Dre, I got you. And I can't wait to see you grow up and be, become the man who your father was. I love you, Ethan. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask us. We're here for you. Um, we love you and can't wait to see who you become and what you become, because I know it's gonna be great because daddy's up above watching you. He was awesome and we will do our best every day to remind you of the great man your father was. We love you. I love you. And uh, whenever you want to talk about your dad, just come to me, because I have tons of stories. I can embarrass your dad pretty bad, okay? Um, if you ever just need a good laugh. So um, I love you, and I'll, I'll see you soon, nephew. Love you, Ethan.